Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Fox Weather Sunrise. I'm Jason Fraser. Hard to believe, right, friends? We only got uh, four more days left in the year of 2021 before we welcome in 2022. In the meantime, we are going to be taking a look at some of the cold weather that's going to be moving across out parts of the Northwest. And as far as those wind chills go, it is going to feel pretty chilly uh, out there, not only tonight, uh, but also into tomorrow morning. Hence the reason why we do have wind chill advisories uh, for parts of Billings, Montana, as well as Miles City is uh, going all the way out to uh, Lame Deer as well. And then we do have a wind chill warning for parts of not only Whitefish, but also uh, extending into Washington State as well. So part of the reason why it's going to feel very chilly out there is because we're going to see some winds really gusting up over the next uh, couple of hours uh, over in Kansas. We saw some winds overnight uh, gusting up to around 50 miles per hour, and we could end up seeing some places across parts of the Pacific Northwest later on tonight uh, that could end up gusting up that far. So later on today, Casper, Wyoming up to about 50 miles per hour today. As far as those winds gusting up our uh, rapid city up to about 20 miles per hour. Billings, Montana up to about 15 today. It's pretty much the same for Spokane uh, as well as Boise and down to uh, uh, Saint, uh, or I should say Salt Lake City. Uh, for tomorrow, we're going to continue to see those winds really rocking and rolling uh, across parts of Wyoming, including the Casper area. And uh, those of you in Boise as well as Spokane, we will start to see those winds uh, start to die off as well. But you may have seen uh, this wind chill map here, right? I'm going to act like a science teacher here, but this is pretty much what scientists use in order to figure out what the real field temperature is like outside and how long you can spend outside. So let's say uh, the outside temperature is about about minus 10 degrees, right? So minus 10, right? But then you have some winds that are going up to about 25 miles per hour. So what you'll do is you'll go across this graph and there you go. You'll see that it feels as though it's minus 37 degrees, but you see what happens where how some of these shades of blue start turning a little bit colder. Well, look at that. About 10 minutes is, is what uh, you can spend outdoors before it starts to really feel like that. And you could end up getting either frostbite or hypothermia, right? So frostbite uh, basically happens when you start to get some frozen tissue uh, there in some of your limbs and it starts to get really numb, whereas hypothermia uh, can happen at very cold temperatures, but it can also happen at cool temperatures as well at about 40 degrees. And it basically happens when a person is uh, starts to sweat and then you may notice that there's some issues going on internally. So you'll just want to be uh, very careful for that uh, potentially happening across the Pacific Northwest. We will today end up seeing temperatures anywhere from five to upwards of 20 degrees cooler from where they should be this time of year.